Um, can I do something that is, is interactive? Are you guys up for that? I don't know. This show? Are you kidding okay. me? All right. Here, here's, here's how this works. We have, um, we have a website called heatherdale.com, and we've got a newsletter uh, that comes from heatherdale.com called Heatherdale's Music News. You'll, you'll sense a trend here about the Heatherdale part. Um, if you would like to get uh, a newsletter every month or two by email from us, we would love to stay in touch. And we would love to be able to tell you the next time we're coming through town when we might be able to come back to open stage, etc., etc. So we've got we've got very low tech books to, to sign up for our very high tech newsletter. Thank you. Thank you. And if you guys could just, uh, if you'd like, uh, give us name and email address and just pass them hand to hand through the room. That would be awesome because. Uh, you know, we do everything independently. We're like Suge in that respect. And we've been on the road solidly for nine years in a teeny little station wagon. <laughs> and we only get to do this because you guys seem to like what we do and, and we're really appreciative of that. So we wanna, we wanna keep up with you. On my left is my partner, Ben Deschamps. <laughs> Behind me, lurking in the shadows, is the darkly handsome John Statlander. <laughs> And many of you know the fabulous pixie to my right. This is Ms. S.J. Tucker. And I wanted to, uh, I wanted to sing you guys a song that comes from Canada's north. It's a song I wrote based on my dad's travels. Uh, I, come from, I come from a long line of wanderlust. My dad got a chance to live in the Canadian Arctic for a long time. It was minus 50 degrees every day in the winter. It was dark. It was cold and harsh and so beautiful. It just, he used to tell me it made his heart ache to see it. And while he was in the north, the elders of the community would go into the schools and talk to the youth and tell them where they came from in the most beautiful of words. And they told this tale, the tale of Sedna. Now Sedna was a beautiful girl. One day, she and her father went on a long voyage in a double kayak, one of the skin boats, each with their own paddle, and they took it out across the empty ocean. Now in those days, the ocean had no life. There was just blackness beneath the surface and ice swirling around above the waves. And so their presence on that glassy mirror attracted the attention of a storm who lived in the far horizon. Curious, as storms are. It came and it started to swirl around the little boat, playing with this new toy that it had found. Sensing their danger, Sedna and her father turned the boat and started to make for the safety of the far harbor. Sedna had a strong heart, and so she put all of her strength behind each stroke of the paddle, but her father was cowardly and craven. He looked back and he thought to himself, this boat would go faster if it was lighter. And so without warning, he reached out, he grabbed his daughter, and he threw her into the icy deep. Well, that could have been the end of the tale, but it wasn't. Because Sedna had such a great heart, she swam behind the boat and grabbed a hold and wouldn't let it advance. Her father panicked. He grabbed the paddle. He started to hit her fingers to make them release, but she refused. And she wouldn't have. But finally, the terrible cold turned her fingers into clear icicles. And with one tap, the ice shattered, and she fell fingerless down into the deep with these little shards of ice twinkling after. Well, that could have been the end of the tale, but it wasn't. Because Sedna had such a great heart she looked around herself in the empty blackness and she said, if this is to be my new home, I don't want to be alone. And so with a force of will, she turned each one of those fingers into an animal that had never existed before. They became the first seals, walruses, whales, all the creatures that now live in the deep. And it's said even today among the shamans of the north, that if you wish to go on an adventure, go to the edge of the ocean and make your greeting to Sedna. She will protect you as you dive down to visit her, for she loves, loves new friends. And most especially, she asks that you bring her a comb and that you sit with her and tell her tales and comb her long black hair for her. 
And that pleases her, for she has no fingers to do it for herself. Sedna roam to the deep, the cold forgotten deep. No one wants to be alone. Sedna roam to the deep, the cold forgotten deep. No one wants to be alone. to be 